What is going on? It's DZ Pop. So for this video, I'm going to show you in depth of how I made it so that I could easily make a clip for my videos on TikTok. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? All right, so to get started, the first thing you wanna do is you want to open up OBS. The second thing is you actually want to have OBS vertical. So to get things started, first what you'll wanna do is you want to get the vertical plugin installed into OBS so that you can use that first. Here on this website, Atom Vertical 1.2.5 from OBS, or you can go to the other website that they have. It's free. There is a version that costs money, but just get the free version, get that installed so that you can have vertical for what you see here on the right. Once you get that set up, you go into the settings, the first thing you want to do is in general right here on backtrack, make sure that backtrack is at least turned on while streaming and recording. If you are doing stuff offline and you think that there will be times while you're like playing a game or talking to people that where something like will happen and you never know, you can also have it just always on. This will make it so that it is always running in the background and you can always use it. Now you can have the recording length, I think go up to 60 seconds. I think that's the max. You can have it go into a path. And this is the most important part. You can have a backtrack hotkey for when you want to save a backtrack, okay? So what I did was I did control G because I will probably never need to do control G. Now there are other things you can do. You can stream, record, if you want to, and there's also a help option. Now, when I first started using this, I was like, I could definitely do this. And I would actually, I first started to do this by recording it all the time and then just edit later. But things got so much better when I started to do control G. Now, this is the next thing to do. Once you have control G set up, the next thing you'll wanna do is use either touch portal, which you can install on your phone, or if you have a stream deck, this is actually so much better. So once you go into your stream deck, you'll want to go into the system option, click on the hot key. This is where you set it up, okay? You can adjust the icon if you want. You can adjust the title, but what you wanna do in hot key is you assign it and you do whatever the hot key is that you want for clipping. So that's there and then on your stream deck or touch portal, you'll have that button to press, okay? And that'll be the hot key. So whenever you're streaming or, you know, gaming or anything, just by having OBS open and this vertical plugin put into your OBS, you can press the button on your stream deck and then if you look down at the bottom, it saves it, right? So let's open up where it's saved and we'll take a look real quick. Some option, right? And click on the hot key. This is where you set it up, okay? You can adjust the icon if you want. You can adjust. Once you, the reason why I do 60 seconds is just in case, okay? It's a nice buffer. You never know what's gonna happen in the span of a minute. That part of the clip is done. Here is actually the next thing that I do once I get that clip. This is what I do. You don't have to do it, but what Daddy Steez does, go to Google, go to Drive, go to a folder that you have saved, you know, for like TikTok, for example. So I go to TikTok. Basically what I'll do is I'll get the video and I'll drag it from the folder it's sitting in into my Google Drive folder, okay? It'll upload it. And then once that's uploaded and good to go, at that point, I can bring it from my phone, okay? So then on my phone, I go to the Google Drive, look for that video in the folder, download it, go into TikTok, and in TikTok, I can basically put that video on there, I can adjust it down using TikTok's uh, video editing, feature and basically just clip out what I don't need and take it down to at least six seconds, 15 seconds, anything. And I can also use that 
to put on the other platforms such as YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. So that is all how I do it from A to Z. All those steps actually make it super simple once you get it down. That's gonna do it for this video. If you have any questions about how to do something specific or on a certain step, just let me know. Thank you for watching, have a good one.